Hey guys, it's me, The Osman Reacts. How are you all doing? Hope you're having a great day so far. It's time for me to do something else related to music. I'm going to be watching a video called Songs That Turn 10 Years Old in 2023. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see which ones I remember, which ones uh, surprise me. Uh, but I'm going to end up feeling old, nostalgic, all that kind of stuff. There's probably going to be a few surprises as well, though. That, that's why I'm mostly looking forward to. A song where you, you know, it pops up on one of these kind of videos and you're like, Wow, that's 10 years old already? Wow, that feels like yesterday kind of thing. I like that. Um, so, yeah, we're going to check this out. Comment below which ones surprised you the most, which ones made you feel old, which ones you were like, oh my god, what? It's that old? Uh, you know, this, if it made you feel nostalgic, all that kind of thing. Um, and like the video if you enjoy it, subscribe to the channel, follow the Facebook page for the channel, join the Patreon, blah, 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 let's go. I'm looking forward to this. Let's do it. I'm gonna pop some tags. Oh my god, twenty dollars in my pocket. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a come up. Let it go, let it go. That can stay in twenty thirteen. I love that song, I really enjoy that song. I know it was really controversial at the time, and yet it was a bit racy, considering the majority uh, majority of her fans at the time were kids, because that, oh, that was one year after Hannah Montana, literally a year after that ended. But it was a good song, it's such a banger. <laughs> Don't know this one. This on My mum loves this song. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, this this feels ten years old. Not gonna lie, girl on fire, girl is on fire. I thought that was older. I'd have guessed that that was a much older song. Wrecking Ball. Ah, uh, it's kind of a bit of both. You know, sometimes I'd be like, okay, yeah, I'd probably have thought that's older, but then uh, another time I'd I'd have thought, wow, it's that old, really. So, hmm, but, uh, um, dun 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 uh, yeah, I'd have thought that was older too, than 10 years old. But this, this feels 10 years old. Really? Oh, wait, no, yeah, yeah, I, actually, I th I'd have thought, well, it feels, yeah, it feels about 10 years old, yeah. Yeah, okay. She's dancing with another man. I love Bruno Mars. He's got such a fantastic voice. It's his singing style. You know, I love how similar he is to Michael Jackson, but it's a much more. I don't know. He's just got such a such a great voice. But yeah, ten years old seems about right. This isn't the fun song I remember though. So I have no reference. That's like my mum's favourite song. I remember that year it was on the radio every time I'd get in the car. She'd be playing it non-stop and she, you know, it didn't take long for me to get into it because it was playing all the time. I had no choice. Uh, yeah, 10 years old seems about right. I'd have probably guessed it was a bit older actually considering how far back it seems that time was when, you know, I'd be in my mum's car and she'd be playing it and we'd just be singing along to it. Yeah, so maybe a bit older I'd have guessed. But okay, 10 years old. Such a great song though. Don't know this. For this moment. Pitbull. He just disappeared after 2013. Oh my god. Jesus. Yeah, I remember this unfortunately. And all the girls at schools. 
well not at school, that we used to hang around with, they'd be playing it on their phones and oh, it was just, you couldn't get out of the way of it, it was so annoying, so yeah, I don't care how old, it, how old this is, I'm just glad that it's gone. <laughs> Feel this moment feels 10 years old. Yeah, 10 years old. That fits. I'd have guessed that this was not. I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have thought 10 years old. Maybe seven or eight. But okay. A lot of nostalgia with this one, though. Madness no idea who you are. Never heard of you. Good song, though. So we put our hands up like, like the city can't, can't hold us. Like, like the city can't hold us. Yeah, that feels right. All Macklemore songs feel as old as somebody says it is, because they all feel old. I was still a kid when Macklemore was a thing. So I remember, yeah, so I probably said it was older than 10 years, but yeah. idea yeah yeah that sounds very I'd, in fact I, I probably would have guessed it was older it sounds more 2009 10ish 2013 wow I know you want it I know you want it I know you want it, you're a good girl! Wow, that song got... Didn't it? <laughs> yeah, that song got absolutely murdered. But that, do you know, it, that, song, that was the most successful song of 2013. It was in the charts the longest, it was streamed the most, viewed, uh, listened to the most on the radio, it sold the most. It was the biggest song of that year. It was a good song though, I enjoyed it when it came out, you know? It was a good song, you know, and people, you know, the reason it was cancelled, oh, it's too sexy and these women, you think they just started in that music video without being told what they were going to be doing? They were told. You have to sign a contract to star in a music, I've starred in a music video before, they tell you everything that's going to happen in that video before you do it. In fact, right before you're about to do it. I remember, so we were going around Leeds and filming in different areas and you know they would tell you what to do so I had a part where I had to walk down these steps it was a rap video so I had to walk down these steps doing a bit like an like an something you see in a rap video they tell you everything that you about to do so I don't get it it's a song <laughs> it's not like it's an actual porn video calm down never heard of it Okay, I'm going to hide whilst I say this, for the embarrassment. I absolutely loved this song <laughs> when it came out. <laughs> because, you know, when Gangnam Style came out, it was such a banger. It was at every party I went to. And, um, it, you know, Gangnam Style, it was so big, it was, it was like the first... Song to hit a billion views on YouTube. Well, not the first. Might not have been the first, but it was like the first one that you really noticed doing that in such a quick time. And you thought, okay, but what next? And then nothing happened. So you thought, oh, it's just gonna be a one-hit wonder. And then this came out, and in my opinion, it was better than Gangnam Style. So yeah, I really like this song. But ten years old. Wow. Yeah, ten years old. Yeah, older, I guess. 
up all night to get some She up all night to get fun I'm up all night to get lucky Banger remember the song but Jesus Christ do I remember song titles with hashtags at the beginning <laughs> do you remember when hashtags were like the main trend like prime is now everybody was using them everybody was going mental over them I mean they still are you know when I upload a TikTok video because you know they've allowed I don't know if it's everybody or just creators with over 10,000 followers or whatever like I've got but you're allowed 2,200 characters in your TikTok video title now. So I, I still use a lot of hashtags. But there was just a time back then when they were everywhere. You know, on TV, it was hashtag this, hashtag that. But I don't remember the song, so I don't know. No. Weird video. Absolute banger, and yeah, ten years old seems about right. Michael Bublé, Ellie Golden. I used to love Ellie Golden. Abs uh, since she uh, uh, featured on that Tiny Temper song on his debut album. I loved her. I loved her voice. It was just unique at the time. It was kind of like a Halsey type voice. Nowadays, it just felt like that, and I really enjoyed it. So, but because it was from that era, any of her music that I hear, big music like her biggest hits, sounds old to me. So yeah, ten years old, maybe older. I said. And Calvin Harris, you know, no Calvin Harris, you know, he's still making music and still doing hits, but he's not nowhere near as frequent in the charts or on the radio as he is as he was back then nowadays he just isn't oh yeah yeah 10 years okay yeah baby you're so classic baby you're so classic Oh my god, this was my favourite song that, that year. This was my favourite song. Every time I had an opportunity to play music in the car, at a party, in the gym, whilst football, something, whatever, this would be playing. This was the first song and the last song that I played, and about 15 times in between. <laughs> I fucking love this. And 10 years old, yeah, seems about right. I got his album as well. I bought his debut album. Where? I remember his debut album. I remember taking it on holiday. I've told you guys about when my uncle, my grandma's son, so my actual uncle, uh, bought a caravan in Richmond Holiday Park in Skagness for the family. Um, my grandparents used to take me on like caravan holidays as a kid. They were my favourite holidays. They used to take me abroad as well, but the caravan holidays were my favourite. And we went down to Skegness to the caravan, and I thought we were going for a week. <clears throat> and then at the end of the first week, she turned around and said, Oh, we're staying for another four weeks. And I was like, What? I was so happy. And I took that album with me on that holiday. That doesn't seem like 10 years, that seems like a lot longer. Ago. It was only 2013, really? I'd have thought that was in like 2010? Because he released the album after that song, so it has to be newer than that song, and it's saying that that song came out in 2013. That doesn't add up. That doesn't seem right. Really? Okay. Yeah. 
this era of Lady Gaga music like this, yeah, 10 years old even. <laughs> Seems ten years old. Oh man. Every time I hear this song I get emotional. If you seriously need to ask why, if you call yourself a fan of this kind of music, then you ain't. I mean fair enough, if you don't listen to this kind of music and you've never heard of Avicii, then that's fine. But if you are a fan of this kind of music, or a fan of this song, and you wonder why, then, come on. But, obviously, it's because he killed himself. <sighs> I miss him so much, and his music. Like, his music was a massive part of my break it up, breaking up, growing up. But, like, a massive part. His music was all over the place by then for me. And this was my favourite. This and Hey Brother were two of my favourite summer songs of all time. Just, mm. Isn't she, it's like a really, it's one of them weird things like, she's actually like 40 or something, and she looks like she's a teenager. Great song as well, great song, good voice, absolute classic song, and yeah, 10 years old, 2013, that seems about right. Britney. Oh yeah. God, the fucking Harlem Shake. That was a trend that, you know, needed to die faster than f the fidget spinner trend. But I don't know which was worse. that The Harlem Shake trend or the fidget spinner trend. Or the prime trend. I don't know. It's hard to say. You know, like the pathetic trends amongst kids. Which are worse out of those three? Harlem Shake, fidget spinners or prime? I think I'd say Prime, but it's very close between that and Fidget Spinners because I just didn't understand them. I mean, the Fidget Spinner, it literally reminds me of something that you'd give to a one-year-old. You know, a colourful thing that does one thing that's easy to play with, easy to use. And I knew, like, 17, 18-year-old lads at the time that had them. And I was like, fucking grow up. You know what I mean? But the Harlem Shake, that was dumb as well. <clears throat> I remember in college, <clears throat> I was in college this year, and it was, everybody was, you know, filming themselves on the phones doing it. <laughs> but it wasn't as bad as Prime or Fidget Spinners. The song's shit as well. Don't remember that. Oh my god, <laughs> one direction, one after another, one way or another. Yeah, story of my life, great song. Uh, ten years old seems about right. One way or, I remember this because it was like crazy to us because they got the Prime Minister to star in it. <laughs> and it was like, what the hell, where did that come from? <laughs> you know, like halfway through the music video, David Cameron just pops up. Like, what? <laughs> but it, it was, um, 
it was the Red Nose Day song that they did, I think. They did it, they did this for Red Nose Day, am I right? I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. Yeah, 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 they definitely, yeah, yeah. This album, this was one of the best Eminem albums ever. I had it. I got it as soon as it came out. It was the album that I wanted the most out of any other artist that year. And I learned it within every song, including Rap God, within two days, I think. Or it three days. Might have been three days. But yeah, I learned the album in like three days. Probably, arguably the best album he ever did. Oh, wait, apart from maybe Curtain Call, that had some absolute classics. Like, Love Yourself, Mockingbird, The Real Slim Shady, Just Lose It, Without Me, Cleaning Out My Closet, Sing For The Moment, like Toy Soldiers, were all on that album at the same time. So that was like, a mental album. But, oh, you know, on this one, Marshall Mathers LP2, it had Rap God, Survival, Berserk, The Monster, Headlights. So, mmm, that had some pretty special songs on there too. So it's hard for me to choose between those two albums. But anyway, that's not what we're here for. Yeah, 2013, that fits perfectly because I can remember getting the album and then I went on holiday with it the next year. And I can remember that time. That was a... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Counting dollars will be dark. Wow, Counting Stars, that was one of the best songs ever. Uh, ten years, yeah, okay. Seems about that old. And this. And the monster. Forgot to mention that one, yeah. Oh, I love this song. Coming at you like a dark horse. Yeah. I remember when that came out, Facebook, all the social medias, they were going crazy over the imagery of that music video. You know, everywhere you turned, it was just Katy Perry Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> but, you know, th th there's some imagery in some music videos that are a little bit on the nose for certain things, but in that one, it was literally like... Because it's never been proved beyond a reasonable doubt. But I know that the Illuminati is a real thing. It just is. And certain celebrities, music, uh, musicians, they have to make... It's part of like their induction process. They have to make a music video where they show their loyalty to the organisation where they have to they have to do something like that and that is exactly what that video reminded me of you know it was very deep egyptian theme the all seeing eye everywhere she appears at the top of a a pyramid and yeah it couldn't have been any more on the nose dogs with the heads of humans the imagery the ref, the the amount of references i mean it was either that or she was just trolling us you know, because I'm pretty sure there was rumours of her being part of it before that song came out. And also there was another conspiracy theory about Katy Perry that, okay, please remember, I was a kid, I was young, dumb, and I'd believe anything I saw that had a 90 second video with what seemed like very strong arguments. But the conspiracy theory was that Katy Perry is actually Jean Benet Ramsey grown up. The little um, um, American pageant model girl who was killed by her brother in America. And I know the ages don't match up, but 
I'm not. No, I'm not getting into it. But yeah, there was a lot going on uh, going around about her, and the, the Illuminati theory was strong around that time. And then that came out, and everybody just went crazy. <laughs> but 2013, I'd have guessed that was a bit newer, maybe 2014, 15, maybe. Hmm. A great song though. That feels 10 years old, but it's a great song. Clap along if you feel like a room without a roof. Oh, this song. You've seen the video of Cristiano Ronaldo singing along to that on his private jet. <laughs> well, the Portugal team private jet, or was it Real Madrid private jet? One of the jets. Yeah. Mirrors. Hmm. Yeah, that seems that old. But it... Yeah, yeah, it seems that old. Great song, loved it. Had that on repeat all through the year as well. This feels... Kind of that old. Wait, which which is older? Which Rihanna song is older? This or We Found Love in a Hopeless Place? Which is older? That or this? Cause I'd say this feels older than the other. No no, I'd say We Found Love feels older than this. So is that right? I'm pretty sure it is. Nope. I I don't care how old this is or how new it is or whatever. I just all I care about is somebody inventing a time machine in the future and then going back across a, a specific timeline and deleting this from existence so that nobody has to suffer from it at all ever again. Ding, 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 ding. What the fuck say? And we dance all night. The best song ever. Life. Banger. Got it. Got it. Reason I know that song. Simple. GTA soundtrack. GTA 5 soundtrack. That's how everybody else knows it, I think. Well, every white dude. <laughs> white British dude. <laughs> Radio Los Santos and the other one. What is it? Los Santos Classics. And this was on Radio Los Santos, which is like modern rap. Like Kendrick Lamar swimming pools on there and stuff. But yeah, I used to love this coming on the radio in my supercar, driving around Los Santos doing drive-bys. <laughs> yeah. It's a video game. Chill the fuck out. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess... It was a pretty good, some pretty good choices there. The person who made this video did did well because most of the songs fit. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, most of them lined up with what, how long, how old they felt, how old I'd say they felt. So. Well done, Zest Pond. If you enjoyed this, give it a like. Yep. Also, let me know. Which ones you surprised you? Which ones you were like, okay, yeah, makes sense. Um, but the this video, the main thing I got from this video is um, just how much of a great year for music 2013 was. There is some absolute classics, future classics, and already classics in there. Some terrible songs as well. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, shut up! Your name doesn't even make sense. But, yeah. <laughs> there's some there's some good ones in there. Great year for music. A lot of nostalgia for me. Every time I hear Love, you, Love Me Again by John Newman, I immediately become 
14, 15, how old was I in 2013? 15? I made immediately become 15 again. So, yes. Makes a lot of sense. Mm hmm. Good video. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you like it, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.